I've been scared of filming this video for over a year, so please be kind while I share our family's debt confession. Hello my friends, this is Kate. Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all of our household debt. Now, my husband owns a business, so I'm also going to talk about business debt in slightly less detail, but I will be sharing all of the real numbers for our household personal debts and our mortgage. I am using an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, or I think they're just called monthly planners now. Um, this setup has just been working best for um, my finances, so this is what I prefer to use. It has a monthly spread, which I use for bills, and then um, it has a couple of notes pages in between each month. Now, I don't wanna waste your time, so I will speed through the setup of this page, but I do wanna film it just so anyone who's interested can see how I do the setup. I'm going to be using um, some debt tracker kits from my shop. You can find these in down in the link below. And uh, let's see, I'm also going to use a Papermate flare pen. Um, I prefer felt tip pens in this instance just because my gel pens usually skip on me and I would like it to be nice and neat for the camera. And the last thing that I will need is a ruler. I just use this as a straight edge for drawing my lines. My page all set up and by the way I did forget to leave a space for the mortgage because I don't consider it part of our debt snowball so I'm just going to add it in down here at the very bottom but um, I'm going to fill this in because I cannot write properly and do story time at the same time so I will be right back okay I am now back and I'm going to be using this really pretty journaling card from Simply Gilded to reveal our information, uh, just because this is the kind of vibes we need to be putting out. Sunny days ahead. I'm considering this a new start, um, a fresh start at tackling our debt because we have not been doing so hot for the last year or so. In fact, um, three of the items that you are going to see here are new as of 2020, but let's just start going through them and I will explain as we go. So our first item and the lowest um, amount on our debt snowball is a Home Depot card. Um, in between late fall and early January, um, of this year, we were working on finishing um, an unfinished attic space in our house, which is now my office because we had a baby on the way and my old office had to become a nursery. So we did DIY the work. In fact, we DIY a lot of home renovations around here and you'll hear more about that as we go down the list. But um, we did purchase carpeting from Home Depot and opened up a card and took advantage of the 0% interest promo period. By the way, that um, carpet purchase has been paid off, so that's all taken care of, but during quarantine, we did start to do some more work around the house because my husband owns a gym, which was obviously shut down. Um, 
He also works a lot, so generally during normal <laughs> during a normal week, he doesn't have a lot of time to do projects around the house, so he was really taking advantage of that quarantine time to catch up on projects. So we decided it was worth it to go ahead and um, spend some money on those things, and I will try to um, show a couple of pictures. Our floor in our kitchen was like falling apart, so we desperately needed to replace that flooring, and while we did it, we were um, adding in some cabinets and things like that. Um, we did pay for all of the cabinets in cash, but the flooring went on the card and then a couple of other miscellaneous things here and there. So um, that is currently, well, I'm sorry, that is our balance as of the beginning of July, 2020. Um, I've been putting little bits here and there um, towards paying this balance down. So it is lower and when I come back to wrap up um, the at the end of July, you will see how much we paid uh, this month. I've been doing a lot of de-stashing of planner stuff and just selling things that we don't need uh, to try to put money towards this. So the next item here on this list is a Discover card that I opened, uh, I believe it was in February of this year. It uh, again was a like 0% interest for 12 months, which we are still within that window. Um, but it was right after having the baby and um, we had some taxes due that we had to pay for in cash plus um, a promotional balance on our furnace that we financed last year was coming to the end of its promo period. So um, we had to quickly finish paying that off before all of the deferred interest hit. So a number of things along with just <laughs> being desperate for some things that might help with baby and also being in the nesting phase kind of still. I was purchasing all of this stuff for our home, like I bought a new vacuum, like a nice stick vacuum, um, and like a bunch of things for organizing around the house, stuff like that. So it was a big moment of weakness, but um, this is going to have to get paid down before February of next year. The next item here is my Jetta. Um, actually, the next two items here are cars, and I do have a video on the purchase of those. I will link them up above. We purchased them both um, last summer, and so the balances on those are $6,996 and $12,590. And our final household debt is a Navy Federal credit card. The balance on that is $15,310. Now, the largest reason for um, carrying a balance on this card, we actually had it basically paid off um, or like at zero when we purchased our home uh, in August of 2017, I think it was. It was three years ago. Yeah. August um, 2017, we purchased our home and it was an old home that needed, we thought, you know, a little renovating here and there. But when we got in, we, or once we purchased it and started trying to, you know, do a little bit of renovating before we moved, um, we quickly found out that it needed a lot more work than we initially thought when we purchased it. Um, so we gutted the entire downstairs. Um, we, well, except for two bedrooms, um, there wasn't really much that needed to be done in there except for replacing the baseboard water heater. Um, and so our living room, kitchen, bathroom, hallway were all completely gutted. I'll see if I can toss in a few photos. Um, and we did all of that work ourselves, again, with um, the help of some very generous and skilled friends and family. Um, but we, we had a lot of expenses with that, um, even doing the work ourselves, all of the materials, 
added up. So that brought us up to a pretty high balance on this card because it was just all we had at the time. It was all we were able to do. And um, we haven't been really able to make any headway on it since we've moved in because there's always something else um, coming up, like a higher priority thing to pay off or, you know, taxes coming up, things like that. And so our grand total for all of our debts is $42,661.96. So monthly we are putting $877.80 towards debt, which is depressing now that I've added it up. Um, that's not right, is it? Oh, that's right. Well darn. So that sums up all of our household debts. And um, just to clarify, we do not have any student loans um, or anything like that. This is pretty much everything, um, except actually I will just go ahead and jump down to the mortgage. So I will do an entirely separate video on our mortgage so that I can talk about that in a little more detail. But basically, our um, current mortgage amount is one forty four, eight hundred and eighty and twenty three cents, and um, we do pay biweekly. It's part of the mortgage terms, um, and that is uh, three hundred ninety three dollars and nineteen cents every other week. Okay, so this would be depressing enough if we left it right at forty two thousand. But we have business debt. So for a little bit of background, actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you this first one because it's mine and I have no problem um, showing you guys. Earlier this year, um, my old laptop was kind of acting like it was on its last leg. Um, and being that my laptop is kind of the most important thing for running my business, um, and I would be kind of screwed without it. I bought a new laptop um, to replace it. I do still have the old one, but it's pretty much just sitting up on my desk, plugged in like a desktop. So this new laptop is a business investment. Um, so I do have this um, in a 0% interest promotion. I I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say that, but um, we're not going to be <laughs> we're not going to be doing that anymore, guys. Okay, I promise. Um, but that is a business expense, and um, that is the only one that is my um, that is for my business. Now the rest, I am going to have to give you a little bit of background information. So my husband is a personal trainer. He has his own gym. He has been in business for a while um, and has been slowly building his business um, throughout the past couple of years from a small um, basement studio that he rented out very cheaply to um, a little like strip mall storefront that he expanded into two storefronts because he needed one side of open space for fitness classes and then the other side for more of like an equipment room um and then uh, about two years ago um he found a larger warehouse type building that he wanted to move his gym into it was really pretty much everything that he had wanted um, the location is absolutely fantastic. It's like right on a very busy road. Um, so I believe it was in like March of 2018, we kind of um, started the process of renovating the space. Um, he negotiated a lower rent, a much lower rent for um, putting some improvements into the building. Um, we did have a situation where a contractor kind of took our money and did nothing. He just disappeared. 
Um, so that I'm not trying to cry victim. It's entirely our fault for not doing our research and vetting this guy properly. But at the time, it kind of seemed like our only option because who else would do this work for our budget? Um, real rookie mistake. <laughs> but that is part of what happened. Also, I will say a gym is an extremely high overhead business. So if you or anyone you know is considering starting one, definitely make sure that you have an extremely well thought out business plan. So a number of these items go um, towards renovating the space that he has now, and I will include um, some photos. Honestly, guys, his place is so awesome, and I am so proud of what he has built. Um, he has always just been reinvesting in his business to try to build his dream, and I have always been fully supportive of that. Um, so I'm not, inc I'm not showing the balances of these items. I will say they are somewhat in, um, order from smallest to largest, but I do kind of mix the, um, snowball and de avalanche methods here. Um, and I will show the minimum payments because first of all, I do show that you can see them on my bill, um, spreads. And also, without knowing like the terms of any of these um, loans or anything, or whatever um, interest rates on the cards, things like that, you can't really tell for sure what the balance is from that. So, I mean, you can get a general idea, um, and that's really all I'm here to give for this. But anyway, so we have equipment loan number one. Um, that was actually paying for turf and um, I think some of the other flooring. I'm not sure, but um, I know it was mostly put towards the, a section of the gym that is that has um, artificial turf. Um, and that should be paid off soon. Um, I'm not sure if he made the phone call to pay that off yet, but he's supposed to really soon. We have the money set aside for it, but um, yeah, I decided to put it here because it's not 100% definitely gone yet. Um, we have a Discover card um, and a Wells Fargo card. Those, I think, most were partially equipment and also partially some of the renovating and improving of the space. There were a lot of things that technically we can take with us that we paid for, like some of the ceiling fans, stuff like that. Um, our next item is equipment loan or equipment financing, I guess I should say, number two. And this one is a lot more um, of the actual like free weights and racks and uh, benches, cardio equipment, things like that. We did initially towards the beginning of this whole process um, take out a business loan and that is $517 a month. Um, let's see, the third and final equipment loan is the largest one, um, and that is our biggest expense monthly. It's $650. Um, we also have a couple of private loans from people that we know personally, maybe family. I'm not really disclosing much of that here. Um, one of them we are paying on. These two we do not, um, and they have 0% interest really effectively. So those we kind of pay chunks off periodically, but we're not actively paying monthly on those. And then the third and final item here is an SBA loan, which we took out recently. It's by far like the largest thing here. Um, but that we took out recently as a result of COVID shutting the gym down. Um, so, so that was unfortunate and that wouldn't be here. Things would look a little different if we didn't have to shut the gym down, but we did. And 
we're just going to have to do our best to make our way through this. Um, so I will share that the total of the minimum payments monthly on this is over $2,500 um, with a little bit of that being mine, most of it being my, uh, my husband's gym. So the moral of the story here is be extremely cautious and thoughtful if you are going into a business that has a lot of overhead or a lot of upfront investment um, like a gym and also be extremely, extremely thorough um, vetting and researching your general contractors. <laughs> that is the best advice I can give. Um, we ended up taking over a year to renovate the space. Thankfully, the landlord is incredibly like generous and kind and worked with him to um, basically not charge him rent the entire time that he was there um, improving the property because obviously he's pouring money into the property. Um, like I said, we, we have a negotiated lower rent because of it, but... Um, the not paying rent during the renovation did really save our butts. <laughs> so um, I will say, even though I'm not sharing the totals here, that you could buy a house with it. Um, I'm not going to say where you could buy a house with it. I'm not going to say if you could buy our house with it, but it's a, a substantial amount of money. Um, and the reason that I share this is I do really want to be as transparent as possible with you guys. Um, but there's a certain level of privacy that we do need to kind of keep. Um, I do hope that it's encouraging to you if you are in a similar situation that you are not alone. Um, I look at this business debt that he has and I kind of think of it in terms of like student loans. Like it was an investment towards a career and um, pursuing like a higher paycheck in the future, <laughs> but, um, you know, some people might not look at it that way. That is, is how I'm choosing to look at it. Um, possibly just from a maintaining my own sanity <laughs> standpoint. Uh, but we, we are making progress on paying this stuff down. And, um, once we are able to pay it off, he will be able to, um, obviously, bring home a lot more money um, and we can further our household financial goals that way. So I hope that you found this video helpful or at least entertaining in some way. Maybe if you are in a similar situation with a lot of business debt and you um, just need to know that you're not alone and you're not the only one going through this or if you're just looking for some uh, background information on our bigger financial picture beyond our monthly budgets, or maybe you're just nosy. That's totally fine too. I watch these videos for that very reason. So um, I will be back regularly to fill in the ending balances and check in with you guys. Um, that way I can keep up the momentum and pay down these debts. And I just know that you guys are a fantastic support system and will really be um, encouraging me, well, us <laughs> along this journey. And um, I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.